Hey guys, so starting off, we are going to be using our first product from NYX Cosmetics. It is going to be the Beauty School Dropout um, and the Big Pack, which is the Alumni one. Um, so the only reason I'm grabbing this one is because I felt like it had the most prettiest pinks in there. And like it had a pure red in there. Well, not a pure red, but close to a red. But, you know. So anywho, so I do grab that shade right there that I pointed at and I just start to... Um, blend that into my crease just to start to create a transition color um, you know it's always most essential most important thing is to create that transition color you, you want to make it look that effect that you have multiple colors so as we go on from here we are going to just keep on doing that um, continue to just blend that out and you're gonna add um, as much color as you want depending on how intense you want your transition shade to be so I think that I get to like a really nice pink red looking transition shade, shade that I just stop at that point and then from there on I go right next to that red color there's like a really bright pink and I grab that to put on the outer car out on the outer corner of my um, eyelid and I'm just building that color up to the crease but just leaving it all um, all in those um, outer corners oh my goodness I can't even talk sorry guys um, and then from there on we are going to go ahead and blend that out with a clean blending brush Remember blending brushes are our best friend we want to have them all like every single one from every single brand we can ever grab <laughs> That's my that's just me <laughs> uh, We're gonna grab a flathead brush from Eagle Tools and we're gonna go ahead and grab that um, metallic -y type of um, Like a mix between pink and purple and we're gonna put that at the center lid because I didn't want to do something light in the center lid because I feel like we always like everybody ends up doing that so I just wanted to do something more of like a medium to dark color and I felt like the color wasn't really coming off of this palette but like dark purple slash pink so I do end up going into a different palette to grab a different intense color and this one does show up a little bit more but then again I don't want it too dark because I don't want it to be too just like taking away from the pink because the pink is definitely the um, biggest thing on this eye look and yeah so then we're just going and and but um, adding more of that pink and adding more of that um, red pink just to make sure that the transition color doesn't get lost and the outer corners of the pink doesn't get lost in there and then I am going into the BH Cosmetics wet and dry studio um, palette and I'm grabbing that deep purple just to add it on top of that pink slash purpley color that we got from the alumni palette and we're just going to pack it on there and only on the eyelid as always like don't don't go over to the crease side because then it just looks like i don't know when you, it just it just looks weird i can't even explain how it looks it just looks weird um and then from there on we are going to move on to our liner so the liner <laughs> this liner did not come out as perfect as i hoped it would be and normally it's just because i'm using this pen honestly because i can do it with like the liquid liner which is the one that comes in the little tube and you just pull out and it's like a um a brush tip this one i can't like i can't do pens like it's hard for me to do pens just because i am not used to them i like learn doing the liquid liner like with the little brush tip and that's the only thing i know how to use so you can tell that it's a bit uneven my eyeliner but bear with me you guys I do fix it at the end and it, although it's not perfect it doesn't matter at the end the lashes cover it also it, it just doesn't really bother me too much um, and just to fix that wing liner I did add some concealer on the outer corner just to sharpen it up a little so I'm going back into that same alumni palette and grabbing that pink and red mixing them together and um, putting that in my um, Oh my goodness, what is this called? It's my under eye waterline. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's what it is. And then I'm grabbing the slide on glide on pencil in the shade black and tight lining my um, eyes. And then I'm grabbing the white liner and doing that on my waterline. Then I'm going in with mascara and putting it on my lashes. I do it on the top and the bottom. And again, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite lash like mascara like that I've gotten in the past I don't know this is like ever since I got it like about a month ago it was since um it's because it's Manny so yeah it's actually a really good mascara see here I'm trying to fix 
my little mistake because I was trying to fix my liner but it didn't really go too well which is okay we can fix it you can always like take it off if you don't feel confident in it but honestly I just I was just like you know what the lashes are gonna cover it doesn't really matter so the lashes that I am using are from kiss um, I don't remember what style they are but I will go ahead and put those down in the bottom bar and the little about me situation just so you guys know what products I am using because I am fast forwarding through the video just because I cannot talk for very long periods of time if without like thinking what am I gonna say next hmm yeah I'm that kind of person <laughs> so I am applying my lashes and normally I apply them only with my fingers I tried using that little lash applicator that it came in with the lashes and it didn't work <laughs> I just I just can't do it <laughs> um, and so yeah so we apply our lashes and like I said, lashes bring like the look of everything. I feel like it just pulls everything together, makes you look beautiful, although you may think that you're not looking beautiful, which is okay. So yeah, lashes pull this look together, I feel like, but it's okay. I like this look so far. I like the pink. I like how it, like, honestly, since I have red hair, I feel like I have to like do pinks and oranges and all these colors that are not typically what I go for. So yeah. <laughs> And then we are going to be bronzing up our faces or contouring a little with the Wet n Wild Duo Pack. And yeah, oh, I like this contour. It looks really nice. On camera, like when I'm looking at this, when I'm editing it, it looks pretty. But then when I'm looking at the little um, screen that shows me if I'm like recording correctly, it looks terrible. So I'm like, oh my god, I hope I don't look like that. But um, then I'm grabbing the Bright Idea Stick and Color Champagne and doing my highest points of my cheeks. Adding the Strobe of Genius palette on my eyebrows, underneath, like, underneath my eyebrows, and then adding it in all the areas where I feel like highlight is necessary, and that's about it, I believe. And then we do put on our lip, which is um, the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Toulouse. And like again, I said, I will be listing all the products that I use on the bottom bar, so be sure to check that out. And that is the finished result after that. Um... Yeah, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see any other videos, let me know. But thank you guys. Have a good